Oh, hi, beautiful. How are you? You look stunning. Thank you for being here. Today we're watching people do a balayage, not just your average old balayage hair painting methods. I see everywhere all the time, somebody somewhere somehow coming up with a new balayage technique every single day. And today I wanna highlight some of those techniques I've been seeing and they're really strange. I'm 100% open to learning something today. I don't know how useful these things are gonna be, but we shall see. Today we have a sponsor. It is The Real Real. And if you're wondering what The Real Real is, well, let me just tell you and be your best friend because I'm about to change your life. If you love luxury clothing, well, this is a luxury consignment website and app. And I know what you're thinking, Brad, that sounds horrifying because I'm gonna buy way too much stuff. Well, I say go for it. It's a lot of fun. They have a location in LA, New York City, Brooklyn, Chicago, and San Francisco. So you can actually shop in real life as well. The Real Real sells so many amazing brands, including Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Reformation, and more, all up to 90% off retail prices. And of course, they have a team of experts who authenticate every single piece you buy. That way you know you're getting the actual real thing. The real, real thing. I had to, I had to do that. I just feel really expensive today, and I'm not gonna lie, I am expensive today. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing like putting on a piece of designer clothing that you got on sale. And yes, baby, it is really Balenciaga, Alexander Wang, oh, hun. Me with these pants. These are probably the cutest Louis Vuitton boots I've ever seen in my life. Clothing just makes me so happy. So the Real World has so many Balenciaga items. I had such a hard time choosing which ones I wanted. It's amazing how many items um, from one particular brand this store has. And then I was looking at Louis Vuitton and they have so many bags, shirts, dresses, like everything you could possibly imagine. Even the newer stuff. They had so many great Alexander Wang pieces like my pants too. It was pretty affordable and I definitely bought a few too many things. And if you're ever thinking of selling your things on consignment, there are multiple ways you can sell your items on the real real, even while sheltering in place. One of their newest offerings is booking a virtual consignment appointment where you can book a remote video call with one of their luxury managers. You can also ship your items directly in or safely drop off your items at the curbside drop off at one of the real reels locations. And you're welcome for this one. You can click the link right down below in the description box to get $25 off of your first purchase as well as 20% off select items with the code REAL. Now that I have this cute outfit on, I'm excited to see what new things we have going on in the world of hair color. Cause I gotta stay up to date, baby. I gotta stay in the know. And I'm gonna help you do that as well. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by the channel, You're Gorgeous, and this is called How to Ombre Dark Hair. So what the f is going on? I have a lot of questions and it just started. We're really going fast here, okay. I've never seen a, a frosting cap like that before. It looks very thick and very heavy duty. I don't know what that is or where you got it from, but I would like to know. You just plucked out so much hair out of that cap. I'm already taken aback by this and we just started. Oh my God. Y'all, this girl's a never gonna get this teasing out of her hair. I'm not gonna knock anybody today. I don't care. You know, if you're a hairdresser, do whatever makes you happy and makes your clients the happiest and what is easiest for you. Personally, I don't like teasing and everybody else out there can tease all they want. I just don't have the patience to take out teasing. Um, okay, so now we are using a board and just painting on some highlights. What really confuses me is like this sectioning going on. Do we know like where this hair is coming from or do we just kind of pick up whatever we think because you can't see the sections. It's all around very intriguing to me and I just don't know how this is going to come out well by any means. We're clearly going for a very bright, bold look. These are chunky, chunky balayage pieces and they are incubating with foil and adding a lot of lightener, which I love to see. That way the hair lifts an appropriate amount instead of putting a, the tiniest amount on the hair and not having it lift at all. I've seen a lot of people do this like back combing with the, with the brush before and I always found that weird too because I always go down on the hair, but it seems to work well for people. So maybe I should try it. We've made it to the cap and it's gotten weirder. Dude, what are we doing? Okay, first up, this is a lot of work. I could never and would never. We first did the frosting cap, pulled out all the pieces, and now we're taking hair bands and putting different sections in our hair to kind of over direct the hair. That way when you paint the highlights on, you're getting some nice blending going on. It's just a lot of a lot of a lot of things. So now we're going in and we're painting. I wonder if she like weaved any sections or she's just painting, I think the entire section of hair. Those are 
thick. I would have probably sectioned it out more than that. Oh, that's a big piece of hair we're coloring. I hope we don't get spotting on that, baby. I mean, this girl's going for a different look, clearly. She also has great technique, though, the way she's painting that hair, the way she's getting really in there, being precise with this. So I don't think there's gonna be any spotting, luckily, and beautiful folding of the foils. It's very nice, okay? There's definitely things that I wouldn't do, but it's nice. Okay, we have made it to the pulling out of the foils and her hair is really light to the point where it looks possibly overprocessed. What I'm just realizing right now is that she has to take all of this stuff out of this girl's hair with the lightener on it. That is going to hurt so bad. Pulling that hair through with all that lightener, it is going to get caught. And she has to take the elastics off. <laughs> Nervous. They rinse it beforehand and probably condition and then they take the cap off. That makes a lot more sense to me and that's a lot easier than I was thinking in this little head of mine. Okay, well, I mean, it looks light. Oh, okay. Where'd the highlights go, Miss Thing? Okay. 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 Interesting. Oh. All right. Am I confused? Yes, 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 yes. Reason being, we ended up somehow with a foil highlight. Girl, you could have just popped some foils in there, did a little root shadow and called it a day. It would have taken you half the time, a third of the time even, and it would have been so much easier for you to do. But maybe she has fun doing that. So I wouldn't personally be using this this knowledge anytime soon on any, any real living people that I do hair for. It seemed like a waste of time to me. I don't know how to say that in a nice way, but I guess that's it. I'm gonna say this one is a no for me. <laughs> Big fat no, 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 no. Let's see what else we have. Next video up is by Free Salon Education, and this is called Air Touch Balayage Technique. Full step-by-step -step tutorial. He's picking up this section. Everything looks really normal right now. What are we doing? This seems like a pretty good idea. So he's basically pushing down all the little baby hairs underneath her hair with the blow dryer. That way he's just painting, I guess, the healthier, longer hair on top. And it kind of divides the section and gives you a little bit of like separation between the pieces, I think. He also hairsprays it, which I find interesting beforehand. And he's really trying to do very minimal painting going on here. Um, most of it is being pushed out from the back. I think this is cool. I fully understand and I'm still intrigued by it. And I still want to know how this is going to come out. However, I feel like we're adding an extra step that doesn't need to be there. Unless you have like really damaged hair, I guess, and you're trying to get those little baby hairs that are just growing back to come out before you color the hair. I understand that. It just seems like a lot of effort. You know, he has obviously a great technique with painting. Taking all his little baby hairs out before he does those heavy strokes is going to make it so that they aren't so stripey. And there's a little bit of variation in color between the dark and the light once he puts everything together and all those little baby hairs go back into place. So the only other thing with this I can think about is that some people have really layered haircuts and and some people's haircuts aren't even. So you get rid of that shortness underneath on some parts. It's gonna be more than others. You're gonna end up with heavier painting on one side and less than the other. I don't know. I'm just playing devil's advocate here and um, trying to come up with the reasons why this may not work, but it probably will be fine. Okay, so we're doing very, very, very thick chunky pieces on the top. I've never seen anybody section hair like that. Um, unless she's doing a really far side part, I've honestly have never seen that. So pretty interesting. And this is the final results. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's definitely not ugly. Okay. It's not bad. It's not ugly. You know, the person clearly has experience. Would I have liked it to be more impactful and a little bit brighter towards the ends instead of like kind of the midsection being brighter? To me, it looked like there was kind of like a lot of focus in lightness in the mids and less in the ends, which, you know, usually you like to have a lot of the ends bright. Um, that's kind of how hair grows naturally. It gets lighter towards the ends and darker at the top where the new growth is. I I wouldn't be using this for my own practice. And maybe you guys would, but I'm gonna say this is a no for me again. Just feel like it's a lot more work than it needs to be. The results weren't as amazing as I maybe thought they were going to be. I mean, it was cute. I think there's just easier ways of doing it. Up next, we have a video by The Life of Hair, and this is called, Is This the Fastest Balayage Technique? Okay, you got me with that title. I wanna know what the fuck the fastest technique is, because I am all about speed mixed with technique and precision, and I wanna get done quick but cute and if this is it i'm gonna do it we're going to do a six section balayage put ponytails in those six sections and this is going to create elevation this is an express balayage technique so if you want to get that little bit of lightness through the ends of your client's hair 
and you haven't got a massive amount of time, then this is the one for you. So we're doing some ponytails, six sections of ponytails. Ponytails are scary. We saw it in the first video. We're seeing it again. I'm feeling good about this one, a little bit better than the first one. It's just a lot of hair at once. That's my only hang up about uh, the ponytail thing. It's a lot of hair to color. I don't even know how it's gonna be easier for him or faster, so. Okay, so we're doing this sectioning and he's basically going in like a pinwheel type style thing, I think. Kind of taking out pie slices all around her head and putting it into really high ponytails. That way he gets a lot of over direction within his sections. And when he paints it, he'll get some really diffused highlights going on. That's the idea. It's worth noting that this girl has the perfect hair texture to do this because her hair is fine. She really doesn't have a lot of it. So it's gonna be easy to color it very quickly. And we're using some foils. We're gonna get really nice and light. And he's just really going in and foiling every piece of hair within those ponytail sections, which is going to give her a lot of lightness. So I split the ponytail section into two. I've got the bottom of the section here. Um, I put my foil underneath this section. I mean, so I've done this before when I was younger on some people and I always ended up with spotting and maybe that was just an error in my technique when I was younger, but I always ended up with little spots of, of uh, places I didn't bleach because the sections were so f thick. And I make sure I've got lots and lots of product and I heavily apply the bleach to the ends of the hair. Keyword there heavy amounts of bleach, fully saturating the hair. And then I apply a lot of bleach to that section as well. And just make sure that I apply tons and tons of products because the more we apply, the better it will lift in the long run. That's right, the more we apply, the better it will lift in the long run. Guys, put enough freaking bleach on your hair. And then I put another foil on top and then I flip over the foil and I remove the bottom foil that I just painted onto. That's genius. That's a really good idea, the whole flippity do that he just did. See, I never did that and maybe that's where my error was. So we just make sure we work that also diagonally, side to side, to get the product onto the hair thick enough that we can be guaranteed we get maximum lift. I like this guy a lot. I feel like this is gonna look bomb. So I'll just give you a close up of the six section or elastic band balayage. Gives the hair that very, very soft finish. Listen, it looks pretty good for doing that so quickly with just some ponytails. So we've left some little orange pieces through her top layers, which are quite short, just to veil that very, very black fringe in there. Um, and you can just see from the side angle there, a great blend going through. And we've got the dark running right through the hair. So she's got that kind of very shadowy, rooty vibe going on. Uh, and it creates lovely, soft, blended, balayage-esque color. Okay, that black bang was gorgeous on her. She looks amazing. Also, see that? He just made his life so much simpler and I'm definitely gonna be using this on people with hair that's on the finer side. I think this is a great idea and it makes your life easier and makes everything go a lot faster. So I very much love this concept and I'm excited to try it on somebody. He did an amazing job. All right, let's watch one last and final technique and let's see how it goes. Up next, we have a video by Ryan Superno, hairdresser top Indonesia. Um, hair color three 3D balayage comb technique. He is going in with some back combing. What is that? What are we using on that? What is it? I've seen these combs before. I've seen these little little teethy combs over here with all the shit in them and you can like just put it in there and it sections everything out for you. That is cool. I very much enjoy this and would like to have one in my hands and use it. So he's basically getting like flawless um weaving with the just the comb. I don't know why we all had to hand weave out all these foil highlights. I feel like it would be so much easier if we just took a freaking foiling comb that has those little teethies in it and just sectioned everything out with like this guy's doing it. I'm ordering one of these combs today. Okay, so now he's going with a single process or a toner of sorts in between to add more of a red tone to her hair, I believe. This is totally normal. And I want to know what these highlights are going to look like. Hopefully it's going to be like this beautiful blend between like some lighter blonde pieces and some more berry color in between. I like this a lot so far. Where did the highlights go? Okay, see, here's the issue. He is rinsing everything together, and maybe this is what he wanted, but you know, obviously when you rinse everything together, you're gonna get 
get a lot of that darker color on the lighter color and it's going to probably get rid of every single light piece you put in there. I'm not seeing a, lot, a whole lot of lightness going on, but it looks like he's toning the highlights. Um, so maybe he wanted it like this. Ooh, I do love a good little gloss moment though. This looks shiny and pretty and like, ooh. I lied, it's really freaking gorgeous. Oh wow, that's really pretty. It had like the softest melt of highlights going on. I loved it. I think that is a really great technique to use, that 3D comb thing. I don't know what the hell you call it, but it was cool and I liked it and I want one myself. Where do I buy it? That was cool watching other hairstylists um, show off their techniques. I love learning from other stylists and I always have room to grow and I never react to professional hairdressers. This is cool to watch and I'll definitely be using some of these techniques on my own clients and friends and family and myself probably. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you would like to text me, this is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see your messages. And yes, I'll be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles. Go for it. I'm literally everywhere. You can find my videos everywhere. If you guys would like to live your extra life and grab some clothing, I have Live Your Extra Life merch and it is so freaking cute. It is linked right down below at xmodelhair.com. If you guys like to shop my hair care products and my color, you can do so now at xmodelhair.com. It is linked below for you. And if you would like some inspiration on what you should do next to your hair, maybe a different hairstyle, maybe a different hair color, you can head to our Instagrams at xmodelhair and xmodelcolor. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Jill and this says, hey Brad, love you, you're gorgeous. Thank you, you too. I have really long blonde hair and I want to change but don't know what to do. Would you give me advice? Yes, of course, that is what I'm here to do. I say chop it. I say bring it up to the shoulders. Get a little root shadow done. It'll give that new cute feeling while still having your hair blonde. Cause I know, I know girl, it is hard to get rid of that blonde hair. I like it on you a lot. So I think just a root shadow would change up a lot. Having those money pieces in the front and then bringing it a lot shorter would look really pretty. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. And thanks again to The Real Real for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the link in the description box right below. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.